Welcome to the Slamming Door Sessions, a reality creation podcast where we slam the door to anything that is not our ideal. With your amazing hosts, Kristen M.F. Clark and authentic Cynthia Sena Serravache. Join us in a radical embodiment of our ideal states. everyone welcome back to a new episode of the slamming door sessions podcast my name is cynthia my state name is authentic cynthia and i'm here with the amazing Kristen and methane clark yay thank you so much for being here with us for another episode if you're watching this on youtube don't forget to subscribe comment share like and turn on notifications and yeah let's begin with today's subject Ah, I'm going to let you introduce it. Okay. <laughs> so for today, I was thinking that it would be nice to talk about choosing the idea. Yeah. And so I was thinking about it because um, I am starting a new program with one of my mentors and it's going to last for six months. And so, of course, we started imagining like okay by the end of this program uh what is our life looking like so what have we manifested and all of that and so to me it's always so nice to sit down and take that moment to decide okay what do i want right <laughs> basically so uh i think uh, all of the time we are choosing or either if we know it or not <laughs> but we're always choosing what we are manifesting in our lives and it is so much fun to actually sit and say okay what is my ideal like in every area of my life what is my ideal for my physical body what is my ideal for my emotional life what is my ideal for my family what is my ideal for my friends what is my ideal for my partner what is my ideal for my job or for everything and I just always find that so much fun and it's such a pleasure to choose okay sorry my cat wants to leave you <laughs> it's such <laughs> a pleasure to to just choose and decide and imagine you know it's just I don't know. It's like when you go shopping or when you go to a restaurant and there is this menu, like so many options and they are all wonderful. And then you say, okay, so this is what I want. And this is what I want. And this is what I want, what I want, what I want. And I just think that's so much fun. And I was doing that right before coming into the call and into the, to start the episode. And and yes, I was like, okay, let's talk about choosing the ideal because, you know, that first moment when we decide this is what I want, then it is a choice at every single moment of the day to keep choosing that ideal, you know? Yeah. And regardless of what happens within us, that maybe other things arise or just what happens around us of things that may, maybe are echoes, like we were discussing in the last episode, that these echoes of past states that we have embodied, to always keep choosing the ideal. And so, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to bring for today. So what is you, what are you choosing? So like, I, I mean, are you doing the six months from now, you know, my life looks like this or yeah. or this is what happened in the past six months or whatever yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I just started actually I I haven't done every area yet but the first area that was in the list of things that we could consider was the physical and that was it's so much fun because we've been talking about it for the last two episodes I think um and yeah, and so I decided that I, I looked so young, younger than I look. I've always like I right now I look like 10 years younger than I'm actually that I actually am. Yeah. And so people are always telling me like, oh, my God, like, 
I cannot believe, or just <laughs> I have conversations with people. I, I actually went to the marriage of uh, of uh, a friend, right? And I was in this table with people who didn't know me and they were asking me, okay, how long have you been living in France? And and so I told them, yeah, I came to France and I was doing this, 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 this long ago. And it was like, oh, but that was after you finished your studies, right? Like they were kind of <laughs> unsure. To figure out this. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> no, they actually thought that I moved to France either before or right after finishing my studies. And that is around 24, 25 here. So they were actually asking like, but you waited after you finished your studies, right? Because they, they actually thought that I was 10 years younger than I am right now. <laughs> so yeah, don't worry. It was way after I finished my studies. <laughs> That's, you know, I'll tell you, every time somebody meets my son, they're, they're super confused. Like, wait a minute, your son's 30 years old. So how old are you? How old were you when you had him? And I was, I'm always like, I was eight. <laughs> <laughs> I was eight years old. Yeah. I mean, all the time, all the time. In, in fact, even when, cause we would, we would go travel a lot. We were always traveling and um, I've had people, they thought he was my little brother. I've had people all the time. I've had people think he was my boyfriend. Um, oh my I know I'm like, going, yeah. uh, and then, you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, it was so weird and I love it. I, and I have this one picture of the two of us were hiking and, you know, we're doing an Ussy, like a selfie, but an Ussy. And, um, my sister saw that picture and she goes, what were you nine years old when you had him? How is it? You guys look like you're related in the way of siblings, not mother and son. And I'm just like going, we have good genes. But I love that, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I you do. You absolutely sit there and go, I know. It's so much fun. Yeah, it is so much fun. And so now I wanted like, okay, I want people to think that I am 20 years younger than I am. You know, it's like, let's take it to the next level. Easily, easily yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, that's what I decided basically on the physical area. Like, uh, yeah, I want people oh, to actually God. tell me like, you are 20 years younger and to actually ask my age and say like to be in shock like no way like how can you possibly look like a teenager still you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you yeah. know I've got a friend who is 58 and I swear I'll send you a picture of her she she doesn't look older than 28 she she looks like she's 28 I mean, she definitely goes backwards in time constantly. I, I yeah, it blows me away. Mm. I'm just like going, you go, you reverse. And why not? I love this. I love yeah. it. I love pretending, you know, in my mind, it's January uh, or December, you know, it's December. And the past six months, I've just gotten younger and younger and, you know, without trying with no effort at all and you know weight loss whatever you want I love I love doing that that was always one of my most favorite processes tools whatever you want to do is the um the the whole doing that you know what do we, what do you what do we call that I mean you can call it intentions I guess but it's just or pre-paving or whatever you want to, you know, name you want to put on it. But I, I love doing it because it always works. You forget. And then all of a sudden that date comes around and you're like, you know, maybe you look back on it or whatever and you're going, oh my God, that totally happened. I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. And I love it. So that's one of the things. And I imagine that I, going to see my family and they tell me like why how can you possibly look younger than when you left <laughs> you know <laughs> like I haven't seen you that's good air yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you know I decided to have fun with that so yeah that's for now the only area that I've considered um but yeah so it's going to be fun for the next six months to 
be always in that state and talking from that ideal you know like yeah I'm the person who was always like shocking people when they find out how old I am I am you know how when they find out how young <laughs> I am <laughs> uh, it's just yeah I've always had fun with that and then you could say that one of the scenes that I chose to to imagine this is that seeing one of my sisters telling me like how can you look younger than when you left like so many years ago uh, and then I have a friend who is also we've always had fun with it because he's always surprised people by how young he is and he's always like it's the same like whenever people find out how old he is and he didn't tell me his age like for I think we we had known each other for three years and he hadn't told me his age uh but I am <laughs> used to having the same reaction from people so when he told me I was like no oh, yeah sure I mean <laughs> what's new you know <laughs> it's huge uh so yeah but he and his sister as well they would actually they stopped telling people their age because yeah. everyone would have this reaction like like no way like no that's not possible and no like and so I also imagine him telling me like wait a minute how can you look even younger than the last time I saw you in person you know so yeah it's just having fun with those scenes I love that. I did. I had a person the other day say, what are you like, 45? And I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, because why, you know, why say your age, you know, if it's not fun, you know, if it's not fun to shock people and and get that response yeah. and definitely, <laughs> you know, I actually did that once, like uh, they. I, just when you meet people like and you think that maybe you're not going to see them again and they say oh like you're 20 something and then like sure and then you keep seeing them and eventually you tell them your real age and it's like yeah. wait what yeah I know they're like wait weren't you yeah I you know and I always joke that when I hit 50 because this has kind of been my father did this everybody did this when you hit 50 you get to start going backwards so technically yeah mm -hmm. I would be 44 <laughs> and you know it's I, I mean you're talking about how you, you get to choose you get to choose your age of course, you know, from the space of, oh, yeah, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. Yeah, 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 whatever. But let's go, let's go more magical than that, right? Let's go more mm -hmm. wondrous than that and have fun. I mean, why the heck are we here for not having fun? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's such an interesting subject for me because I've never felt my age in a way like I've yeah. never felt like yeah. someone who's aging and I've always felt so much younger and I've always acted like a young person and I've always looked so I was younger <laughs> but I just it doesn't have any meaning to me you know like or, or at least compared to other people or the meaning that other people assign to their age I've always found that so interesting like how people look at age and what age means to them that I am sometimes people ask my age and I'm like I don't know <laughs> you know yeah like, yeah ditto here I love what you're saying because I think everybody feels that way I think you know I, I will have people say well number one people are always you pushed out right we're the creators of people so whenever somebody is playing that game of oh i i get old i i'm old i have this i have that it's like that's just what i expect old to be but i can change my mind and see the proof of it see people start acting differently talking differently so what i love is the subject of agelessness in other words like i look at you and i could not tell you your age I, you could be in your 20s you could be in your low 30s i couldn't even pinpoint there's no way and i for me i don't i feel like that's i, I see so many people like that like 
hell, you could be in your 50s, you could be in your 20s. I don't know what you are. People are ageless. There is no age. And I love that. That's now that's fun. Because it's just like, you know, usually you can look at somebody and get a gate, you know, 10 years plus or minus. I love it. And you know, the I had talked about this program that I found uh, of this guy who's talking about uh, rejuvenation by changing your beliefs. And one of the things that he talks about is about changing the belief of how someone of a certain age should look like. Yeah. And that when you see people around you, when you go down the street and you see people of looking a certain way and you immediately say, okay, this is a 50 year old and this is an 80 year old. And, you know, like you kind of gauge someone's age by the way they look. And this guy is saying like, no, like the way you look at a certain <laughs> age is a choice. So stop assigning ages yeah. to people because of they they look a certain way because then it's kind of what you're choosing for yourself if people of 80 look this way then it's inevitable then when I turn 80 I'm going to look like that and so changing the beliefs about how a certain age looks like and how um just assigning or pairing aging with looking a certain way like the age that you have with a certain look yeah uh yeah. or or menopause or whatever all of that yeah like yeah. all the things that come with a certain age yeah. like okay at 50, 50 this women starts happening get, yeah. yeah exactly yeah. yeah and he says it's not true and yeah. then I've seen, you know, uh, and this guy is also talking about like Asian women that are 80 and they look like the siblings of their grandchildren. Yeah. You know? And Ooh. I love that. I Ooh. love that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, Awaken the God Self, Candace, she has a class on health. And during that class, if I'm not mistaken, she also shows people who look like, amazingly young and hot and attractive and they're in like 40 or 50 but they look like a 25 yeah. not only 25 but just in general their bodies like healthy and strong and attractive and all of that and just changing the perception and the beliefs that we have around around age and yeah. what is age going to produce in our bodies what is age going yes. to cause because age is not the cost. Again, going back, you know, to buying the pearl and who is the power and all that. Is age is not the cost. Is the the state and the beliefs that we have around what age is going to cause in our bodies and in our personality? You know, like oh, I'm a thirty year old, so I can no longer do that, and now I'm forty year old, so I can no longer do that. That is for the twenty year old. So now I have to act in this in this way, and this other way is no longer acceptable. Yeah. And yeah, we have all those beliefs and those assumptions about what age is going to do and how we are going to be at a certain age and how we are going to look at a certain age that is just a choice. Yeah. Well, and I, I, oh my God, if you look back at when my grandmother, of course, was in the fifties versus my generation now in the fifties, it's vastly different. It's vastly different. So it's already naturally happening to where the longevity is being pushed further and further out. And, you know, but it's, it, it's so much more beyond that. It's, um, I don't know, it, it, it's exactly what you're doing, where you're like, okay, six months from now, this is what I'm going to see. It's, it's, I'll just call this pre-paving. Um, and it's, a, it's the exact same thing. You know, you, you, you decide that when I'm, oh, everybody, all the women in my family at 50 years old went through menopause and had these and these and these symptoms. So that's what's going to happen to me. Well, you just pre-paved. Did you, do you want that to have happen? <laughs> and, you know, the coolest thing is that never served me but before I understood pre-paving or anything like this I would ask my mother I would ask my grandmother so I could get an idea of what so when did you have menopause when did you and they they'd be like I don't know I, I don't remember 
Oh, was it really hard? Did you go through a lot of problems? I don't know. I don't remember. So I was never given anything, you know, so thank God for that. So, you know, when it did happen, it was no big deal. It was, it was like going, oh yeah, I haven't had my period in months and months and months. Oh, I must have gone through menopause, I guess. I don't know. There were no symptoms. I don't know. Yeah, other than the best thing ever <laughs> that I don't have periods anymore. Other than that, I'm fine. I'm, you know, so, but, and I love it. I love it that we get, this is for everything. You know, oh, being a success requires hard work. Okay. You believe that? You're going to prepay that for your business? You know, oh, being an entrepreneur means I have to work 24 7. Being an entrepreneur means this. Being an entrepreneur, oh my gosh. You know, it's just like you are the operant power. How do you want to, do you want to be the mold breaker? Do you want to create a mold that nobody's even seen? You know, the, it, it's the, the sky is such the limit. It's not even the sky's not the limit. You're the limit. And I, so I love these practices of going three months out or going. And I was telling you the story of the beginning of this year in January. I had said to my daughter-in-law, pretend it's December 2022. And you're looking back and tell me everything that happened. And um, half of this has already happened. Everything she had, she said, it's already happened for her. She, she was saying um, she was going to get a raise. She said uh, she was going to get more back on her taxes than she thought. And she was going to be surprised. She said um, she's going to get a new car. And there's all these things. And it's already happened for her. And I'm like going, well, damn, you didn't wait, waste no time. <laughs> Wow, like she already got everything six months instead of 12. Uh, I know, actually within three months. And I'm like, you're going to have to create a whole new list now. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I love this. I love this practice of, of the God mind, of stepping into, I am the God. And as the God, you know, instead of thinking of God, think as God and see how your world changes. So much fun, so yeah. much fun. Mm. And the, this goes back to always choosing your idea, you know, mm -hmm. like always thinking from the end, always choosing to be the person who already has everything that you want and not just one thing, you know? How about everything, yeah. you know? How about if you were just thinking about the relationship, how about everything? If you were thinking about the money, how about everything, you know, how about choosing to be the person who has everything that you ever wanted and more and with ease, with unfoldings that are blissful and loving and fun, you know? Yeah. How about leaving heaven on earth right now, basically, you know, like being God, but leaving us God right now. And yeah, you know what I, I loved we were talking about in the episode 11 was um, the surprises, the thinking, you know, what it would be like to be a billionaire. But when it happens, it's surprising you and, and it not being what you thought it being even better, of course, best to better, best to better, best to better. And the you know, I, I've heard people say, well, you know, that's not realistic. We have to have contrast. We have to have this or that. And it's like, no, 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 no. It's not realistic in, in who you are embodying right now. But in the very next instant, of course, it could be realistic. There was a time when planes were not realistic. Going to the moon was not realistic. Actually, let's just grab the term realistic and throw it out the window, you know? <laughs> Magic because eraser. <laughs> yeah, what is realistic? Actually, let's be unrealistic, you know? Let's uh -huh. be unrealistic because that is the whole point. It's like to go to think about, okay, what is the best thing that I think that I could get? And then throw that out the window, actually tell me what you want, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's not about what you think you can get or what you think is possible. It's about what you actually want, even if it seems unrealistic, even if it seems impossible, even if no one has done it before, be the first one. 
Yes. Yeah. And nowadays, we just live in a where every day we're inundated with first ones. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you can't even keep up with the blow your mind amazing things that are happening left and right. We can't even keep up with it. It's so it's so fast. It's so yesterday. You know, you think you just came across something new and fancy and it's like, well, where have you been? <laughs> and I, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's so much fun. It's just, it's just fun. It's just such a blast and to take us. So, okay. So, you know, this next week I'm going to Tahoe as, as uh, you know, and I get to prepave. I get to go into this, this journey from my ideal. Now, I'm going to be hanging out with two other people. And it is, I love prepaving them. I love instead of going, oh, well, this person's like this. No, no, their God self is going to arise. They're going to blow me out of the water. We're going to have convert deep gnarly conversations that we've never had before or whatever i mean i'm going to be camping with a three-year-old it's very easy to to be like okay he's going to behave like this he's probably going to have a hard time he's probably wait a minute what are you thinking so i get to not just go into this from my ideal but i get to raise them up to my ideal as well what's my ideal for this child you know, what's this, this child in their ideal self for me, my ideal, not their ideal as far as, you know, what's the best thing for them? What's the best thing for me, for them? You know, what's going to make me happy? What's going to make me excited and having, and, and come away next week with, that was the best trip ever. Oh my God. I can't believe what this three-year-old said and did and, and how well behaved or, or vice or whatever. I love raising people up to my ideal. It's so much fun. Yeah. You know, uh, talking about that, <laughs> I was thinking about how other people react to us, you know, mm -hmm. and how we can choose the interactions that we have. And it's so interesting to see and to think about what we believe when we interact with other people uh, because <laughs> I've I've recognized in myself that not every person in my life is the same as to what I expect from them or as to you know this interaction of oh yeah I'm the god and this person is doing whatever I you know, they are responding to my state of being. And it's interesting to see, like, is that the same? Is that the case with everyone? <laughs> Because sometimes I find myself like saying like, like if it was something like not related to me, you know, like they are doing things that are completely um, separate from me. And then I realized like, oh, no, wait a minute, that's not true. And then I see it. For example, the other day I was, Uh, I wanted to have some time off uh, and someone completely changed their behavior like unexpectedly that the opposite of what they were doing and I got the time off that I wanted like and it's so funny because I didn't like you know I didn't do anything I just said I want some more time off I'm the lady of leisure. So, you know, whatever needs to happen. And then these, these people completely changed their behavior. <laughs> they were giving a lot of excuses of why they couldn't do certain things. And then all of a sudden, like, oh yeah, we, 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 we want to do this thing uh, like right away. And then I got my time off. And so it was so much fun to see that complete change, like 180. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And you didn't have to think about them. It wasn't like, okay, now I got to make mm. them act this way or that. You just embody the lady of leisure. Yeah. And that they changed to support your thoughts, your embracings. 
Oh my God. And how is that any different from anything in our life? Our bodies, our age, our everything. All you have to do is step into your ideal and then everything around you automatically changes to support that. Oh my God, life is so good. I love it. And I love how you caught that idea very well. It's bring it to self, you know, bring it back to self. It's about self, it's about you. Always, yeah. always, you know, and um, speaking of our, our, our beautiful mentor, Kim Basie, uh, you know, she has a video out there. For those of you that are wondering who we're talking about, her name is Candace Thought, and, and that's spelled T-H-O-T-H. Um, and she has returned to Aloha we're giving her a little selfless plug here and um, she's amazing she is just such a a a powerhouse of living from the ideal um and anyway she was used to do videos on youtube and she caught herself real she caught herself thinking that you know only maybe one percent of the people under you know like want to embrace spirituality or or the metaphysical or whatever and because she was subconsciously thinking this her clients would be like this is such a lonely field you know i'm always so lonely there's hardly and so she was just like oh my gosh it's me you know you you don't think of them i got to change the way they're thinking she brought it back to herself oh i'm the cause of this so she chose to start thinking that everybody, every human being out there loves this, is pulled to the field of metaphysical or whatever. And her whole world changed immediately. She's saying like the very next day, she, people standing in line, her hairdresser, all, all these different things. People just strike up the conversation or, or they'll just suddenly start the conversation about it, the field we love of living from the ideal and and talking about that and they want to know more and you know it's it I, I love that I love that it's always about bring it back to you bring it back to you bring it back to you always never never is there an exception to that rule not in any field not money not health not anything it's always about bring it back to you I love this yay yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, shall we <laughs> end it here? Because that yes. was like a great one. <laughs> I know, I know. That was a perfect place to end it on. Oh, this, yes. And I, see, I told you. Before we started this um, recording, guys, I was we, pretty much Cynthia and, and I, in our own way, we always kind of segment in 10 that this is going to be the best one ever. And it always is. And again, that's that pre-paving. That's that living from the ideal. And pre-paving, it, it living from the ideal goes beyond pre-paving. It's just you're just you're just that person, you know. You just are that person. You're just always thinking this way. You're always, even though it's like, okay, in December I'm gonna look back. No, you're already there. You're already in December. Okay, in your mind, you're already there. You're already seeing the results. You've you've already always been this way, or vice versa, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I have a friend who told me that she prefers to be surprised instead of like pre-paving yeah. like every single thing. And the, you know, it's yes. definitely it's so much fun to be surprised. But you get to choose who are who you are as the person who is always surprised in the best way possible. You know, like you can feel right now, like oh my god. I always have the most amazing surprises that life throws at me every single day, every single moment. Like I'm always blown away. I am so happy, you know, like you can be that person who is always surprised in the best way possible. Like you don't need to actually say, okay, it's December and this happened and this happened and this happened. You can, if you want to, but if you like being surprised, go for it. You know, there's no right or wrong, but you get to choose. That's, that's the point. Yes, always living from the ideal, always thinking from your ideal, always feeling from your ideal. And again, it's not work. It's not hard work. It's it's a joy. It's fun. You know, we did it so effortlessly as children. There's you didn't lose it. <laughs> no. And and again, even that, I've always been this way. 
you know, to be able to say and and to embrace that and to or to say, I've never been sick a day in my life. My whole life, I've always been vibrantly healthy. I, I've never, ever even had the sniffles. And even though perhaps your current circumstances are not supporting that thought, it, it, again, you're, you're, you, don't, you just don't even play there. Oh, my current circumstances always support my thoughts. Always, I'm just remembering how amazing my life has always been. And then I'll just go live and watch what happens from that. It's always a surprise. Even when I'm pre-paving, it's always because it's always better. You know, mm-hmm. I always say this or something better. It's always better. It's always better than I can think. Always, always. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. All righty. Well, fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for being here. As always, our invitation is for you to come in and join us. Um, we always down below is always the link. So you, you could fill out a form. Uh, you can make a comment in the comments. You can whatever you want to do. Reach out. We would love to have you come in and play in this fun playground. Yeah. Thank you guys for being here. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.